This video is about subspaces in linear algebra. First, we'll start with the definition of what a subspace is. A subspace of Rn is any set H in Rn that has three properties. The zero vector is an H. For each vector u and v in H, the sum u plus v is also in H. And for each vector u in H and each scalar c, the vector cu is also in H. This says that the subspace H is closed under vector addition and scalar multiplication. That is, all sums of vectors already in H are still in H, and products by scalars of vectors in H are still in H. In addition, the zero vector is also in H. Some examples of subspaces include the span of a set of vectors, Rn itself is a subspace of Rn, and the zero vector is a subspace called the zero subspace. All of these satisfy all three properties of what a subspace is. We can see an example of a subspace in two dimensions just by looking at the span of a set of vectors. So in two dimensions, Suppose we have this graph, and we have a vector v1. Well, the subspace that is spanned by v1 is going to be this line in R2. So we can see that this is the span of the vector v1, and it spans a line. We can see another example. Suppose we have a vector v1 and a vector that is linearly dependent with it, v2. Then the subspace spanned by these two vectors is still a line in R2. This is the span of v1 and v2, since they're linearly dependent. As a third example, suppose that we have two vectors, v1 and v2, that are linearly independent. In that case, we know that the span of v1 and v2 is going to be all of R2, since we're able to span the entire space by using two linearly independent vectors. And therefore, the span of v1 and v2 is a subspace of R2, namely R2 itself. Subspaces in higher dimensions can be things like planes or higher dimensional subspaces which are impossible to visualize in the higher dimensions. So now we'll talk about some important subspaces related to matrices. Specifically, we'll see the column space denoted by call A and the null space denoted by null A. So the column space of A, call A, for a matrix A we have it's made up of the columns A1, A2 through AN and the dimensions of this matrix are going to be m rows and n columns. The column space of A, call A, is defined as the span of A1 through AN. So basically, it's just the set of all linear combinations of the columns of A. The null space for a matrix also A is equal to A1, A2 through AN, so the same matrix. The null space is going to be the set of vectors x such that AX equals 0. So it is all vectors x that are going to become 0 when multiplied by the matrix A. 
So now we can make some observations about these subspaces. First of all, we can see that call A, the column space of A, is in RM. We can see that the column space is in RM because it's a linear combination of the columns and each column is M dimensional. It has M rows. Therefore, the summation of a bunch of these M dimensional vectors will also be M dimensional. And therefore, the column space of A is in RM. The null space of A is in Rn because the null space is all vectors x such that Ax equals 0. And x has to be n-dimensional in order for this product to make sense. Since A is m by n, x has to be n by 1. So therefore the null space is in Rn. For the column space of A, we can see that it is hard to check if a particular V is in the column space of A. In order to do that, we would have to row reduce the augmented matrix of A and V to check if it's consistent. Just like we have before to check if a particular vector is in the span of a set of vectors. That's exactly what we're doing here. For the null space, it's easy to check if a particular V is in the null space because all we have to check is whether the product AV is equal to zero. So therefore we just have to perform one multiplication, A times V, and check if that gives us the zero vector. If it does, then V is in a null space. If not, then it's not. For the column space, it is easy to generate vectors in column space of A. Because basically any linear combination of the columns is going to be in the column space of A because that's what is defined as the span of the columns. For the null space though it is in, in general difficult to generate vectors in the null space. This is because we must find the parametric vector form solution of AX equals 0 to find the X's that would actually make this equal to 0. And this will give us the X's which when multiplied by a give you the zero vector. So we have seen now what a subspace is along with some very important subspaces in linear algebra specifically the column space and the null space. We have also examined some of their properties. Though not so clear yet the uses of subspaces will become evident in later videos. However, understanding subspaces is crucial to understanding later concepts and fundamental to a good understanding of linear algebra.